Hello and welcome to my course. Today we're going to talk about singing a note and repeating exactly the same note on the mouthpiece. Let me just demonstrate. So I'm, I'm going to try to pick one note now and I'm going to repeat it with my voice. So like... Ta and I'm going to repeat exactly the same note on the mouthpiece. Let me try another one. Ta so now, um, you, you're probably thinking, how is that possible that I'm singing one note uh, using my voice and then repeating exactly the same one on the mouthpiece? You see, if you're thinking logically, um, if, you, if you look inside of your throat, um, what decides about the height of each note is, is the angle of your throat. So if, if it points higher or lower, it, it will really depend, it will really construct the way um, the pitch is built. So the, if, if the throat is pointing up, the pitch is going to be higher. If it's going to point down, the pitch obviously is going to be lower. So exactly the same thing will happen when you, when you well, at least it should happen, when you, when you play the same note on the mouthpiece. So let me just show you that one more time. So I'm trying to find a note. Make sure you don't find, you don't uh, sing a note that is too low, like low, because it's going to be extremely hard to, depending on the mouthpiece opening, to repeat it on the on the mouthpiece. So try mm, find the one that is not too high and not too low. So something like ta, and then try to close your eyes and imagine prehear the same note before you start uh, playing in the mouthpiece. Now sometimes what, what might happen is you're going to hit the wrong note and you're going to try to immediately adjust it to the correct one. So try to avoid that. So try to get yourself to a, to, to a situation where you immediately hit the mouthpiece with the correct one. So don't, try to avoid a situation where you, where you sing a note like ta and you're going to play Because the, the rule should be always when you, pre when you, when you practice the mouthpiece that you hit the, hit the, hit the reed um, with your tongue and you hit the note right in the middle. So let, let me try that one more time. Ta so this exercise is extremely valuable because it teaches you the control of your larynx and your throat, which uh, later on, once we're going to do more advanced exercises, it will transfer to the quality of your sound. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you next time.